I know no one was expecting another video from me, but we got an update to the Noggin situation. To tell you more information, here's my text to speech to tell you all about it. Eric. Paramount Global is shutting down Nickelodeon's subscription-based Noggin app and has laid off its entire team. Kid Screen is reporting, the SVOD service for 2-7 to seven year olds had 2.5 million global subscribers in 2019, four years after launch, and houses more than 1,000 educational games, videos and books in its library, some of which will soon be homeless. One of the app's most recent launches that rolled out in December is Noggenville, an immersive digital world where kids can visit iconic locations from the broader Nickelodeon universe and play many games. Noggin also features Nick Jr. preschool juggernauts such as Blue's Clues and Dora the Explorer, as well as third-party acquisitions like JoJo and Gran Gran, BBC Studios Kids Family, a Productions, and Little Bear, Nelvana. This long and short-form video programming will be shifted over to Paramount Plus under the Nick Jr. banner. Noggin will no longer be taking new subscribers, and there will be a transition period for current subscribers. The news is surprising. As Paramount had previously said that they were keen to keep Noggin open as it offers interactive elements that Paramount Plus doesn't offer. The news also comes as Paramount shuttered most of its OTT apps, including the Nick app and Nick Jr. app last month. Paramount Global is in the midst of laying off 800 employees, representing about 3% of its workforce, just days after CBS scored a huge ratings success with Super Bowl VIP, which was watched by around 123 million people across all platforms. Despite eliminating the Noggin team, kids and family programming is an important genre and a key piece of the company's streaming strategy that drives subscriptions, consumption and repeat viewing. According to a Paramount spokesperson, in fact, Nickelodeon's content for those audiences is consistently among the most watched and rewatched programming on Paramount Plus, says the source. Paramount is set to deliver its Q4 earnings report on February 28, but overall revenue for the third quarter was up by 3% to 7.1 billion US dollars compared to the same period in 2022. Despite Paramount Plus losing 238 million US dollars. I know the comments are gonna have a field day with this one. How do you feel about Noggin, the streaming service, shutting down and all this programming will move to Paramount Plus? As Eric said, Paramount did have plans to keep Noggin. Well, I guess that's not happening no more. And Eric has more information on the Low Winter Fest and what to expect tomorrow on the channel. Eric, take it away. After two successful years at the Lowell Memorial Auditorium, we're excited to embrace a new chapter for Winterfest by relocating to the heart of downtown Lowell, said Peter Crew, director of the Office of Cultural Affairs and Special Events. Winterfest will be centered in the Enterprise Bank parking lot, creating a hub of winter activities that will radiate out to Palmer and Middle Streets. This location will allow festival goers to experience the best of Winterfest while immersed in the charm of downtown Lowell. This beloved annual event will feature an array of exciting activities and attractions for all ages, including live music, performances, art and, of course, the soup competition. Also don't miss the venture's highly anticipated return to the channel this Saturday right here on UML fan Chris Romero. And you are looking at your first look on what you can expect for Winterfest. These are the tents that are used every year for the Lowell Winterfest. When I got out of tutoring class, this is what I saw. Oh, and here's another look at the tent. Take a look. Here is a quick preview of the stage that you can expect to see on the channel tomorrow. This is the one in Derby Park. There's a door here apparently, so it's gonna be real interesting. So stay tuned tomorrow to see this all happen here. You know who's performing on this stage? The Venture and a lot more artists that you'll see tomorrow. The Venture perform on Saturday. Well guys, that's a wrap of this video. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. Let me know what you thought of Paramount laying off 800 employees, including the Noggin team. But until then, I will see you all in the next one. And stay tuned tomorrow for Winterfest. Peace out, my friends, and yo, Riverhawks. Hashtag the splat is back.